Welcome to the Rick Moore Channel, where the beer's always cold, the language fucking sucks, my shit's always broken, your opinion doesn't matter, and shit talking's a prerequisite. If you can handle that, grab a cold snack and hold on, because here we fucking go. I'd also like to point out that it's afternoon and I still haven't had a fucking beer yet, so I'm on my way. I need a fucking, I knew I had a hankering. I had a cr hankering for something. I just didn't know what it was. We throw a couple of bean bags from time to time. Ah, once a night, a couple of rounds a night or something. We're gonna, we're gonna practice. I'm gonna whoop somebody's ass next year. I'm telling you right now. Somebody's getting an ass whooping. There we go. Better have the last one of these too, huh? There we go. Perfect. Oh, and I may have been drinking last night when I tore this Walboro carburetor apart for the Johnsford. Stick around for that fucking video. Um, not the one tearing it apart because I didn't make any video. The one putting it back together. For fuck's sake, Rick. So I told my wife the next time that I had the tractor started, I would get rid of this fucking front of this boat because I don't think she really cared for it sitting in the fucking front yard, so. And I, you know, we gotta keep, try to keep shit cleaned up around here, so. There we go. Well, uh, I'll drag that fucker back out of the weeds next time we wanna go snowmobiling. Throw a little bit of a fucking hood on the front of that bitch in the windshield. Put some skis under it. I could make a nice little fucking one of them little bobsleds or whatever the fuck they are. People pull around behind their snowmobiles, they throw the grandkids in there and give them some fucking juice boxes and tell them to shut the fuck up. I could build one of them to find some old fucking grandpa that's fucking that likes his grandkids a lot and fucking sell it to him. That's maybe what we'll do. I don't know. Tell them we're gonna dump the fucker over here because it's just scrap aluminum at the moment. Not that I'm going to scrap it. I'm just saying, most people would say it's just scrap home. We could seal up the back and run her as one of those pumpkin seed boats. I don't know if you guys ever seen them with a little fucking, little tiny boat with a whole bunch of fucking horsepower behind it. Not the racing style, it was just kids go up and fuck around. And they used to be, make them out of plywood and shit. I don't know, I think a couple of kids in high school made them in shop class back in the day. They don't let you do anything fun anymore, so. All right, we're gonna dump the fucking pallet forks off because we don't need those fucking hanging on the front because I don't have any fucking trees in the way where I'm going, or at least I should. I like to leave them on there if I'm cutting a field I don't know, I put the pallet forks on because they're not sure tree in the way. We could just scoop that fucker on the run and dump it off to the side and keep on cutting. That works pretty good. This segment's dedicated to Luke Strasser for the uh fucking constant hazing over not seeing a fucking grease gun in a video so cheers to you bud i'm gonna grease the fucking hay by and we're gonna take a fucking hour to do it so we're just gonna make this video that much fucking longer also thank you for the folds of honor cans from japan that's not one of them obviously but luke was kind enough last year when he was stationed in japan to bring me back folds of honor cans from japan so basically went the whole circumference of the world. They got shipped to Japan, then brought back from Japan. So they're super cool. I got them in the house, and I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna display them properly because they're not going anywhere. We sure as hell aren't gonna drink. Oh fuck! It turns out this one's out of grease. 
Oh, this is a red tacky anyway. We'll look at the other grease gun, I'll bring it back. There you go. I'll switch that one over to the fancy number two that you brought me, bud. Hear that one hitting? Fucking mint. Now, unfortunately, those uh, two are sealed bearings on this side, so there's really nothing else over here to grease. But we got a whole bunch on this side. We'll go over here. Oh, yeah. If you like fucking grease, this son of a bitch will get you. He'll get your fucking panties all fucking, all kinds of moist in here. So we gotta figure out where our fucking uh, grease dirt is. Oh, it's, of course it's on the very back side. That's, we'll get in there. We got long enough. These little U-joints don't take much, trust me. And you're, uh, you got grease coming out all over the fucking place. bad we'll pull this fucking grass out of here and give that little this chain back here i don't know if you can see it hopefully you can i'm not gonna move the uh, gopro around much because my hands are all greasy i like to do that number along there and it kind of spreads it out on that that tensioner there so that works out pretty nice i don't know if i can get to this one from this side there well we'll try to get you in here i don't know if you're gonna be able to see there's one you can see that one right there the other one where are you oh yeah she's facing the other way okay doesn't take much on these they're full of grease all the time i'm telling you Second most important fittings on here, new joints on the PTO. Real funny. Let's go. Even though we slide ours apart, it's greasing it. Perfect. Just for you, Luke, just for you, we're even greasing the fucking jack today. So you're fucking welcome. Now the fucking thing is not quite enough. Of course not, why would you?
in a rope. So on the pivot here, I like to use this open gear lube. Works out pretty good. It's kind of thick, kind of heavy. That's why you can see that black build up on there. Spray that bottom where she really pivots on there hard. And that pin, obviously, that pin mechanism needs a little needs a little love too. So we, uh, that's why we try to keep that all black like that. That uh, that you'll have a fuck of a time trying to open that thing if you don't lubricate that pivot point. Um, the pin on the inside, if you open that cover, is non-greasable. You have to take it out, and you have to jack the fucking thing up, and all that, and then you can pull that pin out. I usually lubricate that pin once a year, just soak that motherfucker in grease and pile her back in there. I don't believe I've done that in a video, so I'll have to do that as well. Just to keep Luke on the fucking... Keep Luke happy, all right? If I'm gonna wash my hands, we'll go fucking cut some hay. This Max uh, 5105 hand cleaner, they make it a smaller container too. I'm just not sure what the number is on that. I think I've said it before, but that's what I always use. Hot water heater is definitely turned up high today. <laughs> I always keep it turned up high for cleaning meat equipment, but she'll get hot that's for sure I try to try not to get this shit on everything I'm gonna have to clean the GoPro off and all that too because that oil eat shit up any kind of rubber it gets on it's gonna swell up so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean you all off too the case and all that shit the button in particular otherwise that stuff gets all fucking eaten up from grease and grime and junk like that so Let's go cut some hay.
need to get where I'm irrigating everything that's close enough to the swamp to pull water out of and then keep the cows away and everything else because it uh, I could yield more by ir with irrigation I know that at Scotty's there's a limited opportunity to uh, irrigate out of the swamp but we'd have to put in a lot I'd have to invest in a lot more pipeline to do it so well uh, we'll see what happens here in the next year or so I don't think this weather pattern is going to change significantly anytime soon and it's going to take a massive amount of rain to get back to where we need to be anyway so we just gotta fucking adapt and overcome and we'll figure it out we'll, we'll keep fucking plugging away no matter what so let's get this thing cut it takes us i don't know what it takes a couple hours not not a hell of a lot i'm only running about one 3.1 miles an hour Great at 540 on the PTO. Um, most of this equipment, if it's 540 PTO, that's where it's made to run. I know some guys want to run the fucking shit at 800, but that it ain't made to run at 800. I don't give a fuck who you are. Run the fucker where it's supposed to be, and you'll get optimum performance and longevity out of it. Just every, just like anything else, when you start pushing that son of a bitch beyond its limits, you're gonna have problems. since I bought the damn thing and I went and filled the tank the rest of the way so there's 75 gallons of fuel in that son of a bitch and if the pump doesn't work then we're gonna have to siphon the shit out so let's uh let's dig her out of there and find out shall we all right so this is actually the first time I've had a real fucking transfer pump so hopefully Appreciate you, boss. He doesn't watch my shit, which is probably a good idea, but 
Anyway, um, I have actually, well, one field over here, one field over there. Well, I got four fields left to cut in total, but um, we're not going to get them all done today. We're going to try to do two more. Dose? I didn't even bring any beer with me. I'm gonna have to drink the rest of my warm fucking Gatorade for fuck's sake. God damn. Prior planning prevents piss poor performance, right? Again, 